prepare the required hardware. Connect the power supply and the three-phase wires of the two motors. Connect the AS5600 encoder to the FOC board with a 6-pin DuPont cable. The connection relationship is shown on the left. Connect the ESP32 board to the PC with a USB cable. Turn on the power. 12 volt power supply is used here. Open the code with Arduino. The user needs to modify the parameters in the code according to the selected motor. There are corresponding comments in the code. Click Tools, Board, ESP3 to Arduino, ESP3 to Dev Module. Click Tools, Port. Then select the corresponding port. Click the Upload button in the upper left corner. Wait for the bottom left corner to display Upload successfully. After that you will see the motor doing auto calibration and enter closed loop mode. After the motor enters closed loop mode, turning the motor manually will feel resistance. If the motor is turned forcibly, the motor will automatically turn back to its original position. If the motor does not enter closed loop mode, you need to check the hardware connection encode parameters. Click Tools, Serial Monitor. The position information of the motor can be observed in the window. The first and second columns are the position information of the M0 motor and the M1 motor respectively. Turn the motor manually. You can observe the change of position information. In closed loop mode, the motor will turn back after releasing. Enter the T plus number command to let the motor rotate to the specified position. For example, enter T3.14, the motor will rotate to a 180 degree position. Enter T negative 3.14, the motor will rotate to a negative 180 degree position. Enter T60 to point 8. The motor will rotate to a 3600 degree position. Next, we use an oscilloscope to observe the output signal of the current sensing chip. Get your oscilloscope ready. Solder wires for the current sense port. The picture above is the position of the current sensing port in the schematic diagram and PCB diagram. The position of the port on the board is shown in the figure above. The corresponding relationship between the oscilloscope signal and the port is shown in the figure above. When the motor is twisted, the change of the current signal of the oscilloscope can be observed. This is the end of the testing example video. Thanks for your watching.